Hi everybody, Meredith here again. So today I wanted to do a video on the updated cross stitch pro projects that I have finished. And these are three projects and I will link the patterns down below so that you can purchase the patterns as well if you're interested. And we're gonna jump on into that. So the first one is my ornaments. Now this ornament project I had gotten, um, I had ordered a couple years ago the patterns and, and it's from Satsuma Street. And I have made these for myself, for, um, for like gifts, things like that. And again, I decided to make them for gifts um, for a couple other people this year. And i um, super excited. So the ones in the video, you can kind of see, I wrapped them up and they're ready to go. But I did put one that I had previously made in there. And this is the Santa. And the Santa, this is one I made like a year ago. Um, you can kind of see up close. It's a modern take on Santa and trimmed him in this braided trim. You can't get this trim anymore, which was very disappointing, but because I really liked it. Um, but yeah, he's super cute, super like, it's a sleek design and um, I like the set of, there's a set of six of them. One of them has a date on it and who wants 2020 <laughs> on an ornament? So didn't make that one this year, but I just love the little Santa. I think he's very cute. Um, and yeah, so there's a set of, I believe six and I've made all of them except for the year. I didn't even make it the last couple of years because 2019 and 2018 weren't like that all I mean they're they're good they're okay years but not like something major happened so I never have made the year one but yeah you can see in the video I made a few of the other ones so um yeah really love how it came out and they're pretty easy to finish um and the what's cool about the pattern on this one she tells you how to finish it and then you can kind of take your own spin on things and that's what I ended up doing um I think it looks really cute on the tree and I love that I get to pull it out each year and I'll probably make the rest of them for myself in the future but right now I'm focusing on gifts and um, they're nice little projects to be able to take. I Sometimes I've taken them pre-COVID. I've taken them to work and on my breaks I'll do cross stitch in the back um, but now it's COVID I try not to take that kind of thing in like fabric um, but yeah so super fun and I really love making them. Okay, so the next one is that reindeer pattern. Now, I'll be completely honest, I have not finished this. I'm gonna show you. I've not finished, finished it. I literally finished the last stitches the other night. Um, and so it still needs to be finished. I'm questioning if I should like just do it in a hoop and put a red bow. I have um, some red velvet ribbon that I can do around here. So I'm just still kind of pondering what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna like finish it, finish it in time for Christmas. Um, but I really like how it came out. I'm going to give you a close up on it. Um, yeah, you can see I always initial, um, big projects like this and the date. Um, but I think it's super cute and how it came out. Uh, the only change I made to this pattern was the antlers. The antlers called for it to be white and I ended up using a like chocolate brown that matched his hooves and his eyes. And I like how it came out, it kind of stands out a little bit more. I don't usually change anything in patterns, but that's one thing I did decide to change. And um, yeah, he's super cute, little Rudolph. Um, so yeah, so if you have any recommendations on finishing this, I would love to hear them. I've seen different frames and stuff, but any ideas that you may have, let me know down below. Um, like I said, I'm pondering this for a bit on how I'm gonna finish it. But he's so cute, I love how it came out.
All right, for this next one, as you can see in the video, it was a bell pull. And um, I've been wanting to make this one for a while, but I was a little apprehensive because of finishing it. I didn't know if I could finish it. Um, and how, and like, so I have a sewing machine, but <laughs> I'm not very efficient on it. And finishing a cross stitch pattern, like, it would make me nervous if you mess, if I messed up because it is, my, you know, you spend so much time on the cross stitch. So I was really worried, um, but I got it finished. So I ended up doing it. And like you could see in the video, it's, um, the video shows better because it's pulled out farther, but it's very Scandinavian. So I'll show you as I go up, um, all like the bell. And then I finished it with, I made the actual door pull like hardware um, with a natural wood um, dowel and then beads and I attached the beads with glue and that I decided to keep it natural just to kind of go with the more modern design and more Scandinavian look um, and then attached a white um, satin ribbon and I really like how it came out like I love this one so this one's extra special to me because the finishing it, my mom came over and she helped me finish it on my sewing machine. So I got to use my sewing machine. And for those of you who don't know, my mom's really sick with cancer. And so the fact that she could come over and help me was so meaningful and helpful. And as you can see, I did it on linen. And again, if you haven't stitched with linen, it is the more challenging one. So I'm very proud of myself. I think it came out really nice. And I'm excited to pull it out each year and have it next to my door. Um, even my mom picked out the placement for it because I was asking her, um, and she said by the door cause it's a door pull. Um, so yeah, so that's the final one. Okay. So those are the final three projects that I worked on probably in the no November, December months this year. Um, the deer, like I said, reindeer, I really just finished like two days ago, three days ago. So looking forward to finishing it, like finishing, finishing it, um, how I'm going to frame it or whatever I'm going to do. Um, in the future. Um, currently I am working on a stitch along wreath and you get a portion of the wreath each month. And so this wreath is going to take me through next year, like well into next year. So, um, but yeah, I'm like thinking about what next project I'm going to work on. You know, always if, if you're anything like me, it's like you're halfway through a project. You're like, I need to start thinking about the next one. I just love it. I just need to, I always need to be making something. So it's just my personality. So thinking about what I'm going to make next, this wreath is going to take me a bit of time anyway. So I have some time to think about that, but, um, yeah, super excited how these came out. I'm going to love them each year when I pull them out the ornaments one time in my future, I will make all six and have them for myself and have them on the tree. But I do continue like they make great gifts. I love making them and I love sharing them with people that I really love. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to, I'm excited Christmas morning when my family opens those as well because some of my family is getting that and uh, I think it'll be great. So I hope you're all having a great day and hope you have all have a great Christmas and that you're staying safe and happy and I will talk to you in the next video next week.